All right, I'm here at AWS reInvantage Day 3 and look who I have with me, one and only Madhukar Kumar from CMO Single Store. Uh, Madhukar, first of all, we met a, 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 just before Big Data London, but uh, here we are again. Uh, very happy to be chatting with you today. Yeah, very happy to be here and chatting with you as well. Awesome. Madhukar, I know, uh, you know, Single Store has a has a lot that you all are doing with vector DB in uh, in the vector space as well. I'm definitely going to get in more into it. Uh, but just for our audience, I know, and I know, like I said, you do pretty good webinars, uh, educational sessions for the community as well. Uh, but I'm uh, for those who uh, would love to learn a little about you, would you like to introduce yourself and tell you about your roles and responsibilities at Single Store? Sure, sure. Uh, hi, Ron. My name is Madhukar. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at uh, Single Store, but I also serve as a developer evangelist, nice. which means uh, I started off my career as a developer, still like to tinker with code, and eventually I moved from development to product management, product marketing, and now into marketing. So speaking of uh, webinars, I'm doing another one tomorrow. Oh, wow, I love so it. So that's on custom GPTs and yeah. assistant AIs. Okay, pretty sure I'm gonna be looking forward to that one. I've, I, I, to be honest, I've got myself registered already uh, because I get all the nice. single store newsletters and uh, all the amazing stuff that y'all are doing. So hats off to that in the marketing team. Y'all are like a um, engine, right? <laughs> There's either one or two webinars that definitely go out every week. And uh, the topic is new, trending, and uh, something where we can learn a lot. So thanks for that. Um, Okay, so coming on, I know you might be having a lot of conversations with the customers here and even the prospects and uh, everyone out there, are, like because I'm also talking to a lot of leaders and customers and they're like, we are pretty excited about Gen AI, it's uh, no buzzword, uh, if, you know, uh, we've seen it throughout the year and they want to learn more and more about it. But what, what do you think about the future of Generative AI, how does it look like and uh, how do databases play a role into that? Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's one topic that I'm sure we can talk about for yeah, for a few hours yeah. if you wanted to. But in terms of, uh, let's say, future of AI or generative AI, one thing is very clear to me now that this is once in a generation event. And uh, yes, I've seen through the internet, I've seen through the cloud, I have seen through, you know, when, uh, JSON and DocumentDB used to be a thing, and yeah. there were 42 different databases. Now I can count them on the finger. Yeah. And today, uh, we are talking about vector-only databases because of generative AI. In terms of the future, I think we have seen a very accelerated pace of innovation yeah. in the last few months. And where I think we are headed now is the next big leap in generative AI in a couple of different things. Yeah. One, of course, is that uh, we've all heard with whatever's going on with OpenAI, that I don't think there will be another very popular and very large language model. It's going to be more around the specialized LLMs or specialized agents or specialized assistants yeah. that will work together in a collaborative way with others yeah. to do something more complex. Interestingly, this was my master's thesis uh, yeah. as well oh, wow. on something called agent-oriented software engineering. So where we are seeing now everything headed to is kind of mimicking the human in many ways. You have a large language model yeah. and that is trained on some data that's frozen in time. In addition, you have knowledge and memory, yeah. very similar to what we do. You have custom prompts and fine-tuned instructions, yeah. which basically makes you behave in a certain way. Yeah. And the third thing is, just like us, you have access to tools. So tools could be you're talking to your uh, the web browser, or yeah. you're scheduling a calendar invite, or you're doing talking to a database. Exactly. So in that world, an assistant with these three components, the most differentiating piece would be your knowledge, information, that is custom to you. Mm -hmm. And in that, the true differentiator would be what companies can look at the entire corpus of data, structured, unstructured, on-premise, in the cloud, geospatial, and be a, have the ability to curate 
and contextualize that in a few milliseconds yeah. for your LLM. So if you break that down, what does it mean? It means you need to have lexical search, you need to have vector search as well. Exactly. You need to have support for multiple data types, and you need to be extremely performant so you can do all of this in a few milliseconds. Mm -hmm. That's where we find ourselves, again, it's not supposed to be a pitch, but I feel at Single Store we have been incredibly lucky because we have been doing this for years and years, and we are probably the only database that had vectors since 2017, when right. the first papers right. on transformers were written. I know it's a long-winded answer to that, no, but that's... that's something, you know, very important in terms of for the folks to understand as well, because when we talk about vector, people kind of feel that, oh, it's quite new, we, we're just hearing about it right now, but as you said, y'all, it goes back to 20, 2017 for y'all, and that's when, you know, it all started, but uh, it's kind of coming out to be real, and people want to, you know, definitely adapt it more and more. Uh, also, a quick uh, question around that, so, uh, what do you see is like, very important uh, in terms of the real time when it comes to building these AI applications as well. Like, do you have any thoughts around that? Yeah, I think uh, of course when we talk about AI, in the next few weeks and months, we are going to see some major improvements. There's always been uh, there have been hints about that, yes. right? There's yes. self improvement, which means a large language model should be able to see what are its own mistakes yep. and flaws and be able to fix it, which is problematic, but also really, really useful in many different ways. Yep. And in that world, it's also going to be offline, so miniaturized and offline. What do I mean by that is, you know, you should be able to run your agents on devices like glasses, your yep. watch, something that you wear, and that would have a miniaturized version of your knowledge base, your prompt, as well as your tools as well. So again, in that, I feel where the world is headed is kind of like what an operating system looks like. And the operating system has memory, it has a hard disk or knowledge, and it has a bunch of apps and tools. Wow. Yeah. And in that, in that world, the databases need to also be, not only be able to do all of the things, but be able to do it in a few milliseconds True. and be miniaturized or embedded. Mm. No, I think this, these are these are great uh, insights in terms of you know the AI applications in the future as well, how it kind of looks like. And like you said, we kind of get uh, a lot of hints day in and out about how it will be progressing. And 2024 looks uh, pretty, uh, good to me in terms of uh, how how we're gonna progress. Uh, another quick question in terms of uh, you know something which is related to single store. Can you tell explain what single store is working on and uh, when when it relates to AI? Uh, are there any future announcements? Uh, if you want to give any teaser, because I know 2024 is just around the corner, so I'm yeah. asking all the data leaders about it and uh, what they're building because. It's always the end of the year and then it's like the big uh, announcement goes out. Yeah, we, we, we did make a bunch of uh, announcements in our single store now conference oh, nice. in October. Yeah. And we are, our next release is coming out in uh, first part of the year okay. without nice. getting into too much details. But I can tell you that in terms of the themes, what we are doing is yeah. a couple of different things. One is strengthening our core to use a workout analogy, yeah. and that is taking our engine and make it even faster and better. Right. So there are some enterprise grade features that's coming out on that. In addition to that, we are adding, uh, we announced Aura, which you think about Aura as the intelligence layer on top of your data. Yeah. Yeah. And that includes things like uh, different algorithms for vectors, in addition to what we already have and further optimizations to take your data and when you convert it into a vector, to compress it in such a significant way that you can run it in memory. Yeah. So your storage is a lot uh, smaller and your processing speed is orders of magnitudes much faster. So we are doing a bunch of stuff around that and then we had announced uh, general availability of notebooks. Yeah. And within notebooks, I think, uh, one thing to really look out for is the ability to schedule it, 
and run it automatically. Yeah. So why is that important, right? Well, now imagine if I have an S3 bucket, since we are in mm -hmm. AWS, or your own file system, and you drop all kinds of data into it. Now imagine that all the data magically turns into embeddings and vectors, and you are, when you're talking to your data, it's available to you in milliseconds. So now you should be able to build something yeah. like that. No, I think it's about how you all are making it easier for the developers as well. That's uh, one of the key aspects uh, with, with the notebook announcement. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about 2024 in terms of the announcements that are going to happen. And uh, keeping a close eye on single store and what you all are doing. And uh, this, was, this was amazing, uh, Madhukar. And, uh, Definitely, like I said, uh, always it's it's always a pleasure chatting with you. I can go on for hours and talk about vector databases, about AI. Uh, but thanks for doing this uh, at you. AWS, and uh, we'll chat soon at a uh, maybe at another conference or virtually. But uh, we'll keep the insights coming for our audience. And uh, thanks once again for everything that you do for the developer community. Thank, thank, you, thank you very thank much. You. Same for you. Awesome. All right.